Greetings, Netrunners. Welcome to the third and final game uh, between Kiv and MTG Red. This is the Octagon Alpha League end event. Um, the, in the last game, MTG Red flatlined Kiv. Um, and so this will be interesting to see what happens this game. No professional contacts in the opener for this one. Yeah. Um, in my testing of these kinds of decks, I've been immensely lucky and I don't even remember a game where I didn't get professional contacts in my opening hand. I have a feeling that the deck might really suffer um, yeah. if you don't draw it. So I'm interested to see what's going to happen here. Um, there's also no economy in this hand. I, I really don't know why he kept it. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to see. We have a very standard opening from MTG Red. Yep. Hedge fund ice ice. Just you know, one of the best openings, if not the best, you can do as a corp. So. Imp. Huh, cool. Interesting. That's very interesting. Mmm, Caduceus. If he doesn't pump the traces, I think you totally pay for it here. Yeah. Yeah, and he is doing so. Yeah, you gotta kick him out with. No, no, he didn't. He didn't. Uh, he's probably not holding an agenda then. Yeah, um, but he has imp out. Yeah, I know. Maybe he doesn't have like a scorched or. What did he trash there? Uh. Unfortunately, an archer. He killed an archer. Man, that was a big deal. That was nice. You you gotta pay the two credits to protect an archer. I don't know. Yeah, I agree. Um, we're gonna see now. Oh, he draws again. Mm-hmm. So Kiv... Yeah. So Kiv went to sleep. I think pretty satisfied being to actually get some use out of his imp there. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm guessing he's going to force him to raise the R in the ice now as well. Oh, that's mm -hmm. nice. That's very nice. Um, so Whalen just gained money, hedge fund. Um... I like this play. But yeah, I like it as well. Um, I don't like what he's doing now though, because if he's gonna run, he's not gonna run. Um, I think he should have run R&D here. Mm -hmm. uh, but we'll see. So, 12 creds is a nice place to be for Wayland. And yeah. do you think he's gonna start? Yep, there we go. Yep, ice, something on the remote. Uh, reasonable chance it's an agenda. Yeah. Um, um, he seemed that Kiv is not playing inside jobs generally. Mm -hmm. That fam is doing nothing for him right now. He's been really unlucky with... Okay, he's drawn one sure gamble and one dirty laundry. And, ooh. Okay. I think we're going to see an agenda being scored pretty easily here. Yeah. I don't know why he's not installing the Grimoire first. Mm -hmm. I mean, he hasn't. His money is suffering because you know kept that economist. Oh, early Gila is really good. Really nice. Um, generally, Gila is one of the really good cards for the corporation from creation control. Mm -hmm. um, it lets every corporation get a really decent economy card and an agenda point and archer food and loads and loads of things. Um, Here we go. Oh. So, so played the R&D interface before the run. Um, I think that that run had a pretty low chance of succeeding. Yeah. Um, and there were with the two data suckers and the imp, uh, Wayland already had a big incentive to stop it. So I'm not sure if it was really needed yet. Um, you can dirty laundry archives, get the snowball out, and ooh. Mm -hmm. uh, not this turn though, because he's gonna wanna hedge fund. Uh, sure, gamble. I mean, he could get in with the bad pub too. Oh. Ooh. So next turn, I like snowball and run your heart out yep. if Waylon doesn't defend R and D. Yeah. And those with the data suckers and the bad pub, it's basically free. Yeah. So.
Um, he will need to... I think he's gonna get kind of scared again. And he, because if he does uh, sure gamble snowball runs, um, that snare might hurt. Well, he doesn't even need to sure gamble. He could just play snowball run. Yeah. I think you kind of want a grimoire so you don't lose it. Uh, mm -hmm. There we go. All right. Well, with that ice over on D, that becomes less good. Drawing. Let's get out the mem chips. Um, um, so, I haven't seen a reason why he's using Dyson over Akamatsu mem chips yet. Uh, uh, unless he just really wants that link. He probably wants a link because he doesn't have underworld contacts. Um, he can get through that Caduceus pretty nicely now, though. Mm -hmm. That's true. And he wants to. Um, he wants to start running again. Yeah, I think definitely. Um, we haven't seen. I don't think uh, MTG Red has rotos, so. Yeah, we've seen zero charts, and they would they would have been really good in most scenarios. All right. Yeah, he's gonna score another one, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't see a. He hasn't drawn any tutors. Uh, no test runs. No SMCs. So. Getting into that remote is very tricky. Yeah, I mean, he could, like, fem the Enigma, but that just doesn't really do it still. Actually, farming the Enigma here is pretty decent, mm -hmm. but he wants the snowball, so... I mean, he could have, like, modded out uh, the fem on the Enigma and then made a run and hope that it's a century. It's a century, yeah. Uh, because even with. Ooh. But then that play does get crushed by an archer. Um, he would have. He would be at six credits, and yeah, he could take the. No, he could take the archer down to three. And he can boost. He can boost break break the the. Uh, the trashes. So. Okay. So it'd be okay. It would be fun, I think. Well, then I, I think I would like that a little bit, but... So he pumps... Okay. Yeah, I think you gotta not let the corp gain through there. Yeah, of course. Um, let's see how much he boosts the end of the run by. None. I don't, I don't think you can. Like, uh, Kiv would pay for any amount that he boosted. Yeah. So, oh. Ooh, boom. Oh, got rid of the Femme, the Grimoire, and the R&D interface. Those are good hits. Very good. I am very surprised he didn't play that Grimoire out. Um, and he still has money to score this if it's something like a... If it's a one-pointer? Yeah. Or an Atlas. Mm -hmm. um, he's getting no... He's not getting much operation economy. Which is letting him uh, fall behind. Mm -hmm. That agenda is probably pretty safe for another round. For another turn. I, I would think so. I mean, he's only got one card in hand, and he, he uh, at this point, Kiv can actually just not get through the Enigma. So, so it'll be interesting to see what he does. Even if that's an agenda, you can just um, take money here, I guess. Mm -hmm. He's got the Gila. If it's an Atlas, I think using Gila and advancing the Atlas would be good. Yeah. Of course, he is leaving himself open to um, R&D hits. Mm -hmm. Except if that's an archer. If that's an archer, that would be pretty cool. Alright, test run was a good draw. So it was scavenge. That turns the fem in archives back online. Yeah. 
Yeah, pretty reasonable play here. He had to drop. Hmm. Dropping the clone ship, making use of Kate's ability. It's good. Yeah. Uh, he needs to draw some parasites. Mm -hmm. Parasite would be insane right now. So. Yeah. He can kill whatever he wants. Probably the Enigma. Mm -hmm. He can always test run the parasite too. Um, true, but then he needs to run and kill it, otherwise... Yes. He needs to find out what that outside ice is. Okay, he definitely... D if it's not like a government contract, I don't know why he's not making a move to score it. Mm -hmm. And he generally doesn't seem to... Be Have we seen an asset? Yet, from him? Uh, just snare. Right. I've seen... We've seen no melanges yet, so... Okay, double advance. Yeah. It probably is a government contract. The thing is that now mm -hmm. there's a possibility he can get in. Yeah. I mean, now he's got nine credits and cards in hand. I think it's pretty doable. Oh, that's good too. Yeah. He can install the fam for. F Five with a scavenge if he sacrifices a snowball. Uh, for four, because he's Kate. He could have also test run it. Oh, yeah, that's very true. And that's what he's doing. Absolutely right. I'm blind. Um, that gives him a really good chance to get in, actually. Mm -hmm. Like, even if it's an archer, he can still get in. Because of the data suckers. Exactly. He can take the archer to, to two, um, break the trashes in the end of the run. Mm -hmm. and, and the money, actually. Even. He can break the money, too, yeah. Because he, he has just enough, but then he also has the bad pub. So. Yeah, always forget about the bad pub. I always forget about the bad pub when I'm actually playing the runner as well. Mm -hmm. So if that is an archer, do you still res it? Or do you wait? It would blow his data sucker counters and blow his money. I think you. The, yeah, the thing is, he has archives open, so blowing the data sucker counters is nothing. Mm -hmm. So. So maybe not. So maybe not. Um, yeah. I'm surprised. Kiv drew too much, I think, because if he ran with a click left, he could have scavenged the farm to make it permanent. Mm hmm. The, se the the second draw there is probably not needed. Yeah. But I think this is going to work out fine for him anyway. Um, he's probably going to score an agenda here. Yes. Barring something really unforeseen. So. Barring like another code gate, right? <laughs> yeah. If it was yeah. another code gate, he would just have rested, it, you know? So. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Um, so it isn't, I guess. And by the amount of time he's spending. Really? Hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Unfortunately, the Caduceuses are not very good at this point. Nope. This amazing, amazing card just get neutered. Even with one link. Ugh. So it is a government contract, and that was pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. Yep. Um, so he's at yep. four credits with very weeny eyes. At least Kiv has to reinstall the fam. Yeah, but also he can just play another Dyson and completely negate the two Caduceus out. Yeah. Kiv does need a bit of economy though. Mm hmm. Some more. Yeah, cool. Ooh. 
Oof, oof. I think that was pretty good. Uh, that's ridiculous, actually. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't mind modding out like the, the Dyson. Dyson. Yeah. Because his discount's already been used, so he's not uh, wasting a discount there. Ah, he wasted it with a blast screen, so. Mm -hmm. Another hostel? Cool. Another bad pub. Wow, so now, now your runs are just so valuable. Yeah. Like, getting out that dice and running the hand is just insane. Hmm. That must be an archer, right? Oh! Okay, that stops anything. Um, I guess you can mod it out the fam. Oh. Hmm. I don't think that RD interface was needed right now. No, he's just opening himself to more snares, really. Especially when he has 17 credits. Mm hmm. Professional contacts, uh, better late than never, I guess, but it's going to take a while to recoup itself. Yeah, to be fair, he's doing fine without it. Mm -hmm. um, so that Caduceus gets trashed because it's pretty useless right now. I'm guessing that's another code gate. <laughs> oh. Or something jumped. Um. I don't know, I really feel like uh, MTG Red is in a really bad spot right now. Yeah, his ice is very porous, and... And that's another archer. Hadrian's! Oh, cool. That Hadrian's is gonna die so easily. Yeah, with the data suckers too, it's yeah. a little weak. Okay, that's pretty, um... So if he gets snared now... He needs to... If he gets snared now, it's a really big problem. Yeah, because he needs to credit take the tag off. Oh, ho, man. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, man. There, there goes the uh, professional contacts. Yeah. Okay. That was rough. Cool. Okay. Now he has a window. And he needs to do something about it pretty fast. Pretty sure you just go click remove the tag, or sorry, credit remove the tag, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. All right, so he says zero credits. It's time. It's now or never, right? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, to be fair, Kiv, that was very risky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. All right, here we go. Ooh. Posted? Well, he does have a plus green. Oh, right. So, yeah. Um, of course, if he does, he needs to draw four, or mm -hmm. he can totally die. Right. Yeah, definitely. He can, oh, he has two cards in hand, so he can just, yeah. Oh, man. But if there's another snare in there... <laughs> Ballsy. Ballsy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, that's the scorched. Yeah, alright, well, he's gotta be happy about that, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. It's going in again. Oh, Jesus. Does he, like, really want to hit the snare? And it was another score. Oh, posted bound. Okay. Ah, well, it worked out for him, so. I guess. You can kill that Hadrian's trivially now. Um, I think that's a government contract, then, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, priority rack. Ooh. Archer. Cool. No, Katana. Katana, yeah. Not very good right now, but still, so it's good. It puts him at six. Um, okay, that's cool. Is there another. Yes, there is. What um, was the card? 
that was really correct running hand here because if he taught death an agenda that would have been really bad for him. Mm. I I'd almost purge viruses now, I think. Um no, maybe not. I mean he wants to make it so the Hadrian's just doesn't die for free. Yeah, but... which means he Yeah. Um, I mean at the at the same time though, he can't defend his hand and he can't defend archives, so they'll just come right back. So he's just in this awkward spot. It's very interesting what you do here because he has a clone chip and the stim hack, mm -hmm. um, which means he can um, he can get a fam out and run that server for very cheap. So if he draws a hostile, he wins, right? Yeah. So interesting. Um, I almost like purging just to like waste time until he can get a hostile. Um, yeah, I agree. Um, this is this is um, very interesting now. I think you possibly like credit up and install a Sara maybe. I don't hate stim hacking in somewhere, like stim hacking R and D or something. Well, now I especially like stim hacking. You can spend that stim hack money on the clone ship and on the SMC. Yeah. Um, he's really, really pressured right now to run because if that's an agenda, yeah, there we go. Um, so you install. We kill a person. Mm -hmm. But if you install a parasite, how do you get past the enigma? Oh! Oh, that's... Oh. Didn't he just kill himself? Be a stim hack? Yeah, is he sh that sure that that's an agenda? If he has the sick read, he has the sick read, I'll give him that, but... Um... Wow, I, I don't understand. I think he could have just drawn a card before doing this. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> yeah, integer is. I think he knows. Oh. Yeah, it was an agenda, but not enough. That. That was a weird play. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. Okay. Surprising, um, but cool. That was an <laughs> awkward end. So, Wayland wins. Wayland wins, uh, Stim Hack. By, <laughs> by self Stim Hack. <laughs> cool. Well, he was right. To be fair, he was right. It was an agenda, but it was not the agenda he needed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, would he have gotten in? Yes, he would have. Did he keep it, like, I mean, if it was a snare, he was going to die anyway. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know why he just didn't draw more, one more card. Yeah, because then he'd be in fine shape. Alright, well, interesting game. Um, a lot of surprises. Um, we saw some interesting stuff. Um, of interesting note is that in that last game he didn't have professional contacts and he did lose, although I don't know that it was because of not having professional contacts. Um, I'm not really sure because generally he, the, the game flowed okay for him mm -hmm. and he was a bit more aggressive as well. I don't know if he could have played better, really. Um, well, on, the, on that last run though, like I said, I think he could have just killed the katana. Yeah, he said it himself actually. Mm -hmm. SMC the the parasite on the katana kill it. Clone check the parasite on the enigma kill it, and there would be no remote server afterwards. Yeah, so it would be very hard to lose in that case. Yeah. So. And then he can just control R and D for the win. Yeah. Because with the, yeah with the two with the two bad pub and the data suckers like you can just break that wall for free basically so. Yeah. 
Um, anyway, that was it for the games. So we have a Corp win for this one. Um, first game we saw was between Hob and Running Bear, and we had a runner win there in Criminal vs. HP. So, um, next game will probably be Holis vs. Job Job, and we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed.